not so many people here, uh, but it's okay. Hi, folks. Um, I'm very excited to be here uh, and present something completely new from JetBrains. I think you are familiar with uh, our products like IntelliJ uh, IDEA, for example, or PyCharm. But today I'd like to talk about uh, a new product closely related to Apache Spark and Apache Zeppelin. Uh, it's called Big Data Tools. Uh, to start, uh, I'd like to say a few words about me. My name is uh, Vitaly Khodabakshev. I'm a team leader of the product. Before JetBrains, I was a senior analyst uh, and data engineer for more than three years in one of the largest social networks in Europe. And after that, I uh, decided uh, to join JetBrains to solve problems uh, which I had during my career as a data engineer. So, I believe many of you uh, here know about Apache Zeppelin. I'm sure uh, you completely understand all pros and cons uh, of this open source uh, great project. Uh, it looks like uh, Jupyter Notebooks, but more suitable for Apache Spark. Uh, on the one hand, uh, Zeppelin is really good for visualization and uh, explorative data analysis. On the other hand, uh, IntelliJ ID is really good for uh, code completion, code assistance, which is especially important in the case of Scala language. Uh, from this point of view, Apache Zeppelin and IntelliJ are complementary to each other uh, in everyday workflow. Unfortunately, in this particular case, uh, word complementary means to be a source of a lot of copy-paste actions. Uh, so uh, just, just because you couldn't visualize uh, data in uh, IntelliJ IDEA uh, and uh, Apache Zeppelin suffers from lack of uh, code analysis as well. So we decided to put them together, uh, but not exclusively. So we are going to uh, bring more big data frameworks and tools in our new plugin. Of course, uh, we always keep in mind our ultimate goal to make developer experience better. Yep, we have not only idea ultimate, but also uh, have uh, ultimate goal. Uh, but it's uh, not so easy to define particular meaning of the goal uh, with respect to data engineers. Here, you can see only a small uh, portion of the problems you are going, we are going to uh, solve uh, in, by our new product. So I'd like to do some live coding here. Um, the setup. Uh, data set is uh, uh, IntelliJ IDEA uh, Community Edition repo as a single text file. Uh, so um, of course, if you want to use parallelism, it's easy to, to split the data set to a certain number of partitions. But uh, let's keep things simple, uh, and I'm going to show you how uh, big data tools can improve your user experience and everyday work with uh, Apache Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. I need to... Uh, okay. So, one moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you see that? Maybe I need to switch to live theme. Let's close idea. And to start we can just delete our connection and see that's okay. Um, I would like to show you Apache Zeppelin as well. So you can just uh, use uh, notebooks for the explorative data analysis here, for example. It's pretty easy. But uh, we can do the same thing within our ID uh, for the first step. We uh, create connection. 
It's pretty simple. Of course, uh, you will be able to Oops, something. One moment. Yes, that's okay. Uh, you can use multiple connections and uh, copy and move your uh, notebooks uh, around these connections. It's uh, pretty easy. But right now, we, uh, I will show you uh, some stuff related to uh, our core capabilities in ID, so we can try to use this one. It's pretty easy to uh, start a notebook, it's okay. And of course, uh, you will be able to uh, use some refactorings here. Uh, right now, I think I forgot something, yes, extension. So let's try to to catch this. So path.substring, yep, file. Path, um, last. Index of mm, dot and plus one. So comma, and it will be much better to read. Or maybe I can automatically uh, to do this. Uh, OK, uh, here uh, you can see that uh, right now we have uh, we, uh, we have no errors here, so uh, maybe I'd like uh, I'd like to extract uh, this piece of code to uh, to method here. Uh, it's pretty easy. I can do that by our refactoring here. Um, get maybe x. Okay, so. Uh, it works more the, uh, if uh, I would like to to rename it uh, is also very easy to do um, not, not so uh, okay uh, I will do that because, because my hotkeys right now uh, don't work uh, because of touch panel I hate it uh, so refactor rename and get get some stuff. It works. So, moreover, if you want to um, to show data, uh, you also can use uh, uh, Zeppelin context as usual. So, with all completion stuff here, it, it will work. Uh, moreover, if you, uh, if you want to visualize something, uh, it's also possible. For example, let's find something uh, interesting. Um, yes, looks good. Uh, we can use uh, SQL as well here. Uh, so that's, uh, let's try to count uh, uh, files with uh, a certain number of lines. So we can uh, show a chart here. Also, we can uh, search in the table if you want. It's, it's pretty easy. For example, it's okay, it works. Uh, so chart, uh, you can move that. You can zoom in, zoom out, and so on. Also, you can fit it to screen without any problems. Uh, let's try two other examples. Maybe some charts. Uh, or, oh, I know, it, uh, it's really, cool functionality. You can extract uh, a piece of code with all dependencies to uh, standalone job. I mean, standalone Spark job. So it's pretty easy to do. But uh, maybe we have some uh, user experience issues here. <laughs> uh, extract job here. And name of job, my job five. It works. 
with all dependencies, uh, my code uh, moved to uh, separate uh, Scala file. So let's try to do something uh, more interesting. Maybe uh, I, uh, I really love pie charts, for example. This is a very good example. I can do something with that. Um, I need some key here, maybe. Yes, it works. Uh, looks really good. So, I think this is uh, all stuff I have only four minutes, and I would like to say a few words about our roadmap. So, I need to switch uh, to presentation. Um, Okay, okay, uh, so uh, today is uh, the first day you can download the plugin directed from our marketplace. Uh, to be precise, uh, you need to have IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate and Scala plugin installed. Uh, at the end of my talk, I'd like to, uh, to mention uh, some features we are going to uh, do in the near future. Uh, near future means here uh, six to nine months horizon. Uh, detailed information about plugin uh, requirements uh, and roadmap you can find uh, on the Big Data Tools uh, uh, plugin page. I hope uh, you have some questions uh, right now, maybe a lot, but I'd like to invite you to our booth uh, where you can uh, ask for questions, but not only. You uh, feel free to ask for new features, for example, or uh, discuss problems you have with Apache Spark you want to be solved within our ID. So thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. A uh, very good question. No, right now uh, uh, you can use our plugin with uh, uh, every cluster or cloud uh, where uh, Apache Zeppelin uh, is installed uh, without any DB Connect or something like that. But we are thinking about uh, how we can support DB Connect in the future, for example. And some maybe kind of integration with Databricks. Yes, of course, uh, you can. Uh, for example, if you uh, have a cluster, you uh, just need to install Apache Zeppelin on it. Or uh, if you have a cloud everywhere, I mean, maybe Amazon, uh, Azure, or uh, Google, you can just uh, install Apache Zeppelin. Uh, we, uh, in, in our company, I mean, in the brains, we use uh, uh, our plugin with uh, um, AWS. Great question. Uh, okay. Thanks. This is uh, looks very useful. So, so when you're doing all these refactorings and stuff from the IDE, is the JSON code for the Zeppelin notebook uh, automatically edited in uh, this, uh, uh, Yes, but much better. Uh, I mean, uh, we uh, provide full synchronization with uh, between our IDE and uh, Apache Zeppelin notebook and server. Uh, so you can change something, and uh, just after that, you can see. Uh, what you change in Apache Zeppelin itself. Yeah. Is it possible to use any Scala dependency from the IDE in the Zeppelin? Um, so if you have a case class or anything uh, that okay, is already okay, uh, written in the IDE, can uh, you got it. use? Right now, uh, we uh, we don't have uh, any deployment capabilities, but we are uh, uh, going to do something in this way. Uh, for example, maybe uh, I know that if you have Apache Zeppelin, you have some options to uh, deploy your dependencies. For example, you can use HDFS uh, or maybe SSH. Uh, I think we uh, we will support some kind of, uh, of functionality in the near future. Right now, we can o o we can only download dependencies from Zeppelin to uh, uh, IntelliJ. Thank you.
Great. Yeah. So uh, any more questions, please, uh, you know, feel free to join or drop by the booth. Um, and remember to rate uh, this talk and others using the Spark 7 EU app. Thanks again.